Okay, I'm going to cover getting started on making a new operating system launched from Temple OS. Or, um, yeah, okay. So, what we're going to do is, uh, let's see, drive rip. So we have a, uh, a, C, a C drive that we're booted to. Um, we're gonna we're gonna modify the D drive so that when you boot the D drive, it um, it boots our new operating system. So there's a master bootloader that um, that we're gonna use the Temple OS master bootloader. So if we do reboot, um, I hit. I, I booted C. So the first block of the partition is the is the bootloader for the partition. When we're we have FAT32, we're going to use a BIOS. So um, what we want to do is uh, let's we're going to make an ins Install OS. Install OS. Um, so we want to write the boot block. So uh, ASM. The uh, the BIOS. Um, loads the master boot that we're going to use and then the master boot loads the partition boot sector and uh, it executes it in real mode so real mode is 16-bit so we're going to do 16-bit assembly <sighs> let's see um, just to be safe we're going to turn off interrupts. We're going to set up the stack. Um, so, uh, XOR AX. I think, I wonder if we can do SP. Now, um, the way the memory map is, uh, um, we have 640k, but um, 640k is 10 times 64, so 640k is uh, A. However, the BIOS uses some of the high memory, so um, we... Uh, Oh, you know what we have to do? Okay. Anyway, okay, so we're going to put the stack at, uh, let's just be safe and go with uh, 80,000 is a nice number. So we, we want the stack at 80,000. Now, um, we want 64K less than that. Um, so, uh, or... Not 64K. Yeah, my okay, 64K less than that is going to be, um, is that 70,000? Yeah, that's what I think. Okay, so 70,000. So we're going to stick this in the segment register. So move SS, comma, AX. So um, by loading zero, that's... The stupid people do it wrong. We're going to set it to zero, and it loops around. The first number it pushes is going to be um, 80,000, or just 7FFFFE, whatever. Okay, STI. So that's how we set up the stack. Um, so we call this uh, OS... S1 
uh, start colon colon makes an export sim label s1 end colon colon okay so we have some assembly code that's going to be put into memory when we pound include this okay uh, so well, unfortunately we have a difficulty uh, not unfortunately okay uh, we want uh, fat Boom. Fat 32 boot. Uh oh. Okay, let's go find out. Uh, okay, we'll go to the kernel, our main header. Let's look for boot. Boot. Master boot. That's the master boot record. We're not going to modify that. We want to modify. Let's go ahead. I'm going to uh, I'm just going to shove this in here. We don't have to. I'm, uh, just so we can look at it. So uh, just to show you that we're not using it. This this is already in memory. We we have that. Anyway, um so C fat thirty two boot BR boot record. Now what do we do? We uh let's read it. So we say okay, um let's install on a drive equals quote D we want to install on the D drive and just to be so the partition oh C drive what do I say DV I think I like to use the standard uh, letter letter to drive okay so dr c i think i call this a letter drive all my api uses the same variable names Okay, so uh, we want to install on the D drive, and uh, this is the uh, okay. We have a boot record structure, so we say read blocks drive buffer block count drive buffer block we want block uh, oh okay DV so base base offset is uh, This is the, uh, the base offset. It used to be just offset. Okay. Drive buffer block comma count. We want one block. Let's go ahead and dump about class rep class rep address br okay I feel like getting rid of this okay so we're gonna so this has the fat 32 information that we need 
and it has the boot code goes in these 420 bytes so and then we want the signature so uh, we have why don't we uh, format the drive okay so first of all let's just do this quick and dirty okay so we just dumped everything looks good signature AA55 so uh, <coughs> just to be um, I don't want to use any information that was already there so for that let's format let's go ahead and uh, format the drive so we say FMT letter quick confirm type okay letter letter quick confirm false DRV the default is fat 32 DVT fat 32 drive type fat 32 okay so we just formatted and now the the old boot record is destroyed so uh, the uh, let's see how we're doing on the jump and no op that looks correct so uh, the jump and no op looks good just to be thorough um, it's it's jumping 58 no no yeah it's jumping 58 bytes ahead and uh, hopefully that's the location of code um, let's go ahead and okay code jump in no op okay e Okay, let's say br dot jump and no op. This is kind of unnecessary, but just to be thorough, fifty eight, and let's say. Uh, Let's just review um, the offset of uh, code offset. Code offset, I'm just going to print that out. And we want uh, offset br. I wonder if that'll work. No, let's not do that. Pat 32 boot code. We just want to see if the 58 is correct. So we do this. What do we have here? Jump and no op. Okay. I'm going kind of slow. Okay, offset 5A, oh, offset 5A, and then it's, okay, try that again. Okay, 5A, so why was it 58? That's because the two bytes of the instruction, um, you start counting after the instruction, so 58 is correct. Okay. And uh, 
so we're good uh, now you know what we do we copy the uh, code into the correct location so uh, mem copy and we want to copy to address or br code comma s1 start now my 16-bit assembler does not support segmentation you might say what well that just means that you have to do it by hand anyway um, you'll see so uh, s1 end minus s1 start another interesting thing is my my um, assembler um, doesn't really do 16-bit correctly it uses the 32-bit addressing modes so it's wasting a byte on each instruction but it's it makes my assembler a, a lot shorter and uh, we only we don't really need a lot of 16-bit code so that's why it's better not to make my it's not, it's not worth modifying my assembler to make it too efficient 16-bit prefix 0x67 that makes it use the 32-bit addressing mode and I just use that on all of them just about so I have an extra byte on all my instructions anyway uh, so uh, let's see here now we want to start doing stuff so we say move AX B eight O O move yes x move u uh, 32 yes colon 0 comma let's put OS we're, we're writing to uh, the text memory the text memory is uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, two zero 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 we're getting weird delays plus 